Hey guys, it's me, XMusicTZX here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. Last time we gone right in and caught in Pseudo Rudo, nicknamed it Pseudobo. And also I gone right ahead and gotten our egg into this inventory. But anyways, in this part we're gonna go right ahead and reach everything. I'm gonna have the egg in my party because it does add into a Pokemon that I do want for my team. But it's still gonna be a long time. Go back over here if you wanna go to Violet City, but anyways, we're gonna head north to Ecritic. Now there are a few way trainer required trainers here, I think. I think there are. I don't know, I don't know this game very well. Why am I left playing it? Anyways, you stick to your entrance. Yeah. Well, we do not have the egg, so that sign was useless. But anyways, here we are at Route 37, and oh, these trainers aren't required. I could sneak right by them. I thought these twins were required, but I guess I'll fight them anyways. Wow, they're really far from being required. Anne and I are in this together. And Sunball grew to level 17. It's just a Jiggly Puff and a Clefairy, by the way. Very, very easy. And how are you supposed to pronounce that? I mean, like, mm, like, N -n -n, I don't know. But yeah, very simple. The clip area does have a new move called Encore, which basically makes it so that the opponent Pokemon will keep using the same move over and over again. I'm gonna battle this guy. Pokemon can't do a thing if they are asleep. I'll show you how scary that is. Oh no. Oh no. The irony of this battle is that I no longer have to sing Hypno's Lullaby. It drowsy is weak, but at least it put Sumbo to sleep. And I should also mention that, that Drowsy also has Dream Meter, so walk up, so watch out for them since they can go ahead and heal yourself so much so long as your Pokemon is asleep. But yeah, there's also a very treat there, and a random encounter. Oh, sure enough! Hey, it's a new Pokémon! Stantler! I did not realize that there were new Pokémon here, which is why I didn't bring them up on in my second monitor, which is why I can't tell you about this Pokémon, which is why I have to Put his stats in the sideboard. Uh. I'm not going down that legend. Ooh, there's three berry trees, but I'm gonna ignore each and every single one of them because I want to hurry up and get to Ecritique City. For things off, let's go to the Pokemon Center and. Hey! Guy in our way. Hi, I'm Bill. Who are you? Hey, I'm the new from Pokemon Red. Hmm, gold, huh? You came at the right time. I just finished adjustments on my time capsule. You know, that Pokemon can be triggered, right? My time capsule was developed to enable trades with the past. Such a vast technology. Nobody puts it to use. But yeah, this basically enables you to trade with Pokemon Red, which does make sense that he would refer to it as a time machine because, well, it's a... This game takes place two or three years after Pokemon Red, but anyways, you can't send anything that didn't exist in the past. I'm pretty sure that the Pokemon living in Junto that are not native to cancel did indeed exist. Actually, in the Elba version of Pokemon Red, many of these Pokemon in Johto were supposed to be in the final product, but never made it, so they had to put them all in a sequel. If you did, the PC in the past would have a breakdown. <sighs> that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. How can something from the future... Never mind. 
It's just a paradox. So you have to remove anything that wasn't around in the past. But simply notice any new moves nor new Pokemon in the time capsule. Don't worry, I'm done with the adjustments. Tomorrow, time capsules will be running all at all Pokemon centers. Except for the ones in Hoenn, and the ones in Shino, and the one in Anova, and the ones in Kalos. And to hurry back to Goldoran, and see my folks. Bye bye! By the way, you can chase after Bill to go to Round and if you talk to him again, he will give you an Eevee, but unlike the last game where he showed off that Eevee is not as weak as people make it out to be, I'm just gonna go right ahead and not use Eevee at all, and that's funny. He was the eggs so well. That's actually really funny. Alright, actually, let's see. You can go ahead and check the stats to see um, how close it is to hatching, but it doesn't really change its message in, with this particular egg. I think it has something, you have to take like 27 stats for it to actually do anything, but anyways, there is one building that I want to find. There is the gym. However, I'm not going into the gym. I'm going somewhere else as soon as I can actually find it. Stop running into random buildings, just find the place that you want to go to. Oh, of course, it's right here. Ah, child, have you learned to dance like the Kamala girls? If you, if you go in their dance theater, an odd old man will give you something nice, I hear. Well, aren't you an odd old man yourself? Well, let's enter the dance theater and let me just tell you there is some interesting music in here. I just love Japanese folk music. That's Samishan, the Sekatuji, those are awesome instruments. Not only are the Komodo of those great dancers, they're also skilled at Pokemon. You mean Pokemon battles? I always challenge them, but I've never even left a scratch. Man, if you can defeat all the Komodo girls, I'll give you a gift. Oh, a gift, huh? What kind of gift? Always with his right on says he wants a Pokemon that can surf and dance. Is he trying to make a synchronized swimming Pokemon? <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. The Pokemon girls are beautiful, but they have to go through rigorous training. And they have to learn to follow customs before appearing in public. If you, But if you love something, anything is possible. Well, I'm just going to tell you, all of these Gamono girls, you're supposed to battle them, and each and every one of them uses an EV evolution. There are actually two new EV evolutions, which I'll point out when I battle them, but I'm gonna go right ahead and battle each and every single one of them. Oh my god, I love these instruments. Yeah, Pokemon has very good music. You have lovely Pokemon. Have you seen them in battle? Okay, this Kimono Girl actually has Nyoko and sends out Flareon. The Flareon is the well fire evolution of Eevee, which is why I'm gonna switch back to Sid Dobo. Well, Sudabone, because Sudabone being a rock type is strong against Flareon, and of course I had some Flora out first, which is weak. By the way, Flareon is actually one, probably the weakest of the original evolutions, with Vaporeon being the strongest, and why you mean you miss with Rothro? Oh, of course, lower the accuracy. Well, my throw doesn't have that great of an accuracy, anyways. Okay, let's try a retro one more time. 
Sun attack, sun attack, I always hated sun attack because it does nothing but lower your accuracy and just takes up a whole bunch of time. Just a very good time waster, that is. You missed was... Ah. Uh, sun attack, I hate it so much. Such a time waster. Cause I say it's the weakest and I wanna even die in one hit. What does I have to say about the future evolutions that I'm having trouble with this one? I mean using three Pokemon sheesh. Oh, you are very strong. I enjoyed that bout. I would like to see you again. On to the next one! I always dance with my Pokemon. Of course, I also train them. Alright, this is Kimono Girl Sayo. So send out a new evolution called Espeon. Now Espeon is very good special attacker and is actually a psychic type evolution. What I'm gonna do is take this opportunity to, I guess... Actually, you know what? I'll keep Sumbo out, see how much Sumbo can do. Sumbo is still gonna die. No? Really? Jeez, with Sunflora having ridiculously low stats, it's actually pretty doing pretty good of lately. By the way, if anyone using a sun floor, I say that growth is a great move. Increases your special offense and your defense as well. No, it's just your special offense. Confusion, I think confusion has a chance of lowering your stats, lowering your special defense if I remember. Either that or it's psychic. I'll finish this off with the Azor. And this would also mean that someone will get all of this experience and... There we go. I cannot believe I'm having better time with an Espeon, which is supposedly more powerful than a Flareon, which is supposedly the weakest in the evolution. Oh, so close. I almost had you. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and take on this one, which should have... Do you have, like my dancing? I'm good at Pokemon too. You mean Pokemon battles? I mean, come on, finish your sentence. This is Mickey! Or Mickey. So they have a Jolteon. Now, Jolteon is a pretty decent evolution, as I do say, is basically the electric type evolution. And its stats are kind of in between the Flareon and the Vaporeon. With Vaporeon being one of the best evolutions. Uh, you know what? I'll switch to the Rock type Pokemon because Jolteon wouldn't have a chance against Sudowoodo. <laughs> sure, using normal type move on an electric type Pokemon. Rock Bow should take it out in one hit. Or not. Well, at least it's close. No, not Sand Attack. Oh, I actually hit. Okay, good, and some bone leveled up and learned Sunny Day, yes! That basically increases the strength of Fire-type moves as well as makes Solar Beam hit instantly instead of charging up first. Sunny Day is awesome. Oh, you're good at Pokemon too. Good at Pokemon battles, finish your sentence. I can keep dancing because there are people who enjoy what I do. My Pokemon keep me 
get in. Nice build monkeys, my spear is up too. After this one, it's just one last. Oh, you're a cute trainer. Would you like to battle? Oh, well, that's what I'm here for because uh, supposedly there's a prize of every time uh, you. This is Kuni. Sending out swells the most powerful evolution out there until this generation. But anyways, let's start off with a mega dragon. I don't think I said my last sentence right. Most powerful evolution of the first generation. There. I only say it right. Critical hit does massive damage. Hit is three point for massive damage. How come I'm at? By the way, how come I'm having doing fine on the tougher evolutions? Well, I'm doing terrible at the weaker evolutions. Just why? It doesn't make sense. Well, then again, I do have a few type advantage and disadvantages to take into account. But anyways, I trained a lot, so I thought I was a capable trainer. I guess I'm not. Eh, well, the Dorian's pretty good. Last Kimono on, girl. Isn't my breath pretty? Oh, a Pokemon battle? Finally, she actually uses the word battle. If I remember right, Zuki, or Zuki, I pronounce it right. She's gonna send out an Umbreon, the dark type evolution of this game. Well, that was introduced in this game. This is one of the more powerful evolutions, having a very good special defense as well as very good special offense. So let's start off with the growth. Luckily, it failed with that Santa, not Santa Tech, but Tail Whip. I'm surprised it didn't use Santa Tech yet. Yep. So I naturally bring this special defense, not offense, growth does. And I'm here. You know what? I'm just gonna keep using Sunbow because Sunbow is lowest on level. Plus it is the weakest Pokemon on my team with the lowest stats. Nice. You know what? Use growth one more time. Pursuit! Pursuit is a move that is does double damage if you're switching on Pokemon and it always goes first. I used to have a lot of fun using Pursuit when I was playing Pokemon Platinum because of how good it was. Well, oh, it didn't do too much damage in this generation, but it does very good damage when now your opponent is switching out, but like I just said, I want the experience for Sunbow. Alright, level 20. And Zuki is defeated. I don't have any Pokemon left. You had only one. I put a different flower in my barrette every month. That's nice. Creep. Not only do commercial girls are great dancers, they're also killed by not. I always challenge them, but I know. And it was like watching a dance. Okay, it was rare treat to see. Oh, but well, you have this. Don't worry, take it. And we got an HMO3, which should be Surf, as the other guy said. Yep, that's Surf. It's less a Pokemon swim across water. Well, currently I don't have any water type Pokemon. Well, Polybo is a water type Pokemon, but I do not want to teach Polybo Surf. Because, well, I'm gonna get rid of Headbutt anyway, because I already got that in a pound, but. Anyways, I guess I'll make my way back to the Pokemon Center, which is. Conveniently pretty close to the mark. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. Well. I'm gonna end this part here and save so next time on Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. I guess we're gonna continue on with the game and see what else we can do at Epitaph. Alright. Awkward pause. And I guess I'll see you guys then.